It's that time again for f -f 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 Friday, Friday, Friday afternoon, Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday, time to hang out with SketchUp, you're dang right it is, push, pull up a chair for SketchUp Live. This afternoon, we'll be highlighting one of the new component back packs from SketchUp Labs, see it on 3D Warehouse, the Urban Design Live Component Pack. And now, please welcome your host for Sk -sk 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 SketchUp Live, the indemnable, the unsurmountable, um, the abominable, the SketchUp guy himself, Mr. Aaron Dietzen. Woo! Uh, I just need to I'm say not sure it. how I feel about this, Aaron. <laughs> there's next level, and there's like three levels above next level. I mean, I guess those are our options. Woo! Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you for that intro. You're welcome. I'm trying to overdo it. You you did it. You you <laughs> overdid it. That's yeah. If there was if there was a doing, you did more than that. <laughs> hey guys, well, how's it going? Apparently it's Friday, so uh, that's awesome. <laughs> I feel like we need an air horn next time <laughs> around. <laughs> that. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's next. Yeah, we're Ooh. building up to sound effects and stuff. Wow, I feel like it's all downhill from here um all right so i always feel like that <laughs> maintain that energy that's right <laughs> i'm gonna need to put an order in for some coffee iv drip uh yeah so i'm aaron and we're gonna do some sketchup modeling today uh with me on the horn is one of my two co-hosts jody gates and it's me hey everybody uh Jody's the calm voice of reason at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because... yeah it, it's interesting to be the mellow one all of a sudden. <laughs> uh, because he is also joined on the line by Matt Robison, who uh, That's me. was gone for a while and came back for more and then exploded in all our ears just now. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, hey, I'm not going to maintain that level of energy either, but that's. Uh... That's where the audience comes in. You guys can awesome. chime in. I was just really happy to be hanging out here on SketchUp Live. Oh my gosh, every single Friday. Uh, well, besides, I guess, last Friday and next Friday. <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> every single Friday, unless we're not doing it on Se Friday. Select Fridays every year. <laughs> Some all Fridays. Mm -hmm. But also, I want to take this chance to say that uh, the Hangouts on SketchUp Live will be happening on YouTube going forward. Today is our last, very sad, our last day uh, simulcasting on Twitch and Facebook and YouTube. But uh, in the future, it'll be bringing everyone together. One chat, one stream, and uh, one SketchUp. Uh, one great community. Uh, but yeah, you'll see it all here on YouTube or there on YouTube if you're not on YouTube currently. So. That's right. So um, we've, we've, we've been trying to announce this throughout the week, but uh, starting in June, we will be doing this just on the one platform. So, um, which I mean, I think it's a good thing because I, I really, as we watch the restream chats and the restream numbers, um, I would say 90 plus percent of our comments come in through YouTube and majority of our views come through there too. So uh, we've been trying to maintain it. We know we, we started on Facebook and when we came into this with live stuff, uh, so we're trying to honor that, but uh, we will be asking those of you who join us on Facebook and the one guy who's Twitch. over there on Twitch, you, um, to come over to YouTube next month and uh, hang out with us. It's a good place, and it's, it's, I know some people have their preferred formats and their preferred platforms, but uh, it's a safe place. It's a fun place, and uh, yeah, we like hanging out there, so it'll be fun. And if you haven't been on YouTube already, like there's... I mean, there's so much backlog of great content to not just the live streams, but all the skill builders and mm -hmm. uh, square ones and uh, all types of, of learning content that you can short form, medium form, long form. It's all there. That's right. Uh, so bring it all together in one place. Awesome. Okay. Well, yeah. Hey, I think, I think that's it for uh, announcements right now. So we're going to go ahead and hop in and do some, some stuff. I can't wait to see some stuff. That's unfortunately I can't see your screen unless I go. Oh uh, yeah, I got. Hold on, I got some things to do. This is amateur hour. Yeah, for real. I turned on my key logger. Happy about that. All right, and now let's nice. uh, let's present. There we go. 
Perfect. Ready to roll. Awesome. Okay, so let's do this thing. All right, so um, we have been the, I shouldn't say we, because I have no part in this, but SketchUp Labs has been rolling out live components for the last couple months. It's been a while since we used them. Um, we're not going to like just harp on just live components. I really want the goal of this thing to be to create some some urban design, some, some layouts of some streets, some, a couple, maybe a couple of blocks of, of a space. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like because we haven't done it yet. So it's going to be a learning experience for all of us. But I think this will be fun because uh, the, I don't know if you guys have been watching the live components as they release, but they, they are getting more and more uh, capable and comprehensive as they come out. So this new version or this new set, it was a smaller set. It was only nine, nine things, nine things came out, but what they could do is a big step up from uh, some of the previous releases, which were also good. That's not talking trash about anything, but uh, it is pretty cool. So I don't want, I'm not going to limit myself, say just live components and nothing else. Um, I'm going to use uh, other 3D warehouse things. We'll jump out and grab some stuff. Uh, and of course, just do some raw, straight up, good old fashioned SketchUp modeling as well. Yeah, I feel like it would maybe be an interesting challenge to try to create something using only live components, but also <laughs> like you kind of limit yourself a little bit. They're meant to be part of a larger thing. I exactly. Think, so. And I think, I, like I said, these ones are really cool because I think they, uh, and I haven't, I should disclaim this, I haven't gotten in and I have not mastered these and I used them very much at all. I downloaded them because uh, watching me download files, we we have proven on air it's not exciting. It's not fun. <laughs> Um, so I downloaded the nine components and just saved them into the model. That's all I've done. And I watched a video. We had a video up on our blog that showed like each live component just get adjusted for a couple seconds each. And that's what got me excited to do this because I'm like, this, what it can do is really cool. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Um, all right. So we have a couple that I know I want to use right off the bat. I figured we could start around an intersection. So this is one of the pieces. Here, Sumele, you you just... That's a, that's a dangerous place to be. Maybe oh, she's go. a crossing guard. Could be. Probably still not I a guess. bright, great she's idea. We're in yellow, I guess. <laughs> and then the, the other thing... kind of huge. Is this is the road designer, is what they call it. Um, and this is cool because... This has, like I said, this was this was the piece that got me the most excited because I know there's so many variables in here that we'll we'll pull in and play with. But we'll start at the intersection. We'll start here. We'll build our way out. Um, we'll throw some additional stuff in there. We'll put, put some some building uh, forms in around there, that kind of thing. Um, but let's start with this piece right here. Oh, and also real quick, these are on. 3D warehouse, right? There's like a separate um, collection for all these? There is. So uh, somebody, Matt or Jody, is going to throw that into the chat so you guys can see this and download it. Um, it is really uh, a pr pretty cool. It's also a lot easier to get to now. The first couple times we did this, we had to make up collections or come up with ways to distribute stuff, but uh, it's a lot easier now because each each time when they do a release of these in uh, uh, at the end of our or middle of a month, they do a release and it's all in one collection. So it's a lot easier to find if you go to the SketchUp Labs page on 3D Warehouse. Sweet. Um, oh, and that's the other thing is that they are starting to theme these releases too. So it makes it a little more reasonable to say I'm going to make a model out of this this release because like in this case they're all around this kind of street layout urban design kind of thing um whereas previously you you guys saw the medicine cabinet fireplace um feature wall <laughs> wait well, so are there gonna be feature walls in this alas i know jody's favorite part of all live component releases are the feature wall but there is not a feature wall in this particular one so, so we call this this chunk of road like a feature wall laid on its side we could you know if we tipped it up this could be a feature wall the features would yeah. be road themed this was, features but it could happen if we were in an inception world i mean sometimes true. those roads were also very walls that's very true mm -hmm. you have this thing happen <laughs> all right well I, th I threw a link up there that link is awesome there's a lot of link to that link cool um 
All right, so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull up the live component menu. So we're going to take a look at what we can do, or live component, configure live component window, excuse me. All right, so here's the things we got. Um, so we got a length and a width. So oh, this is the overall size. Okay. Um, do we want a roundabout? What else we got? T intersection or cross intersection. So that's cool. So I could actually go to, oh, <laughs> so neat. Uh, anytime, anytime you can just hit a switch and it does like half an hour of modeling for you. I, I guess I'm just a sucker for that. Okay. Maybe not half an hour, but you know, a significant amount of time saved. Um, I think I'm going to go with a regular cross intersection like this as opposed to the roundabout, but I do want to look. I am curious that roundabout, like, do we have. Okay, so not a whole lot of option for what the roundabout is, but all right, so I'm going to stick with that just cross intersection. Um, main road width this is the overall. Oh, these are the two different directions. Okay, so 14 thousand millimeters road extension that's how big they go out either side okie doke um like round numbers so we'll go with 400 what's a road verge oh so it's like this little uh shoulder thingy and then the footpath is on the outside okay cool um okay that works all right so i'm going to start with this size and then i'm going to bring my road right here into it. I'm gonna to try to grab it by the middle. There we go, right by the very center, and then line that up with the center of Christopher wants to know why you pick millimeters. Are you trying to uh go in rogue? I'm cultured. Um mm -hmm. I did not like actually old yogurt. pick <laughs> pick millimeters. Um, yeah, it's not supposed to, uh, reference. Well, what do I got going on? You want to explain what wild stallions are? I was going to type it up, but I figure maybe be one of your, give you a chance to talk. Um, that was uh, Keanu Reeves' original side project back. <laughs> no, because that was Dog Star or something like that. Yeah, what was his, he was, he was, he decided he was a rock star for a little while, didn't he? Yeah, it was Dog Star. He was Dog like star. The, right. the guitarist or something. Yeah, no, wild stallions was, was Bill and Ted's excellent band way back did the daughters create a band called wild stallion did they did they create a spin-off of wild stallion or i don't I, you know i gotta be honest i i watched the new one but i don't know how much i got out of it i don't know that i uh you were just there for the experience it was i, I you were done experiencing it i may have just watched it so i could say i could watch it yeah that could have been how i did that okay I'm not liking how that's lining up there. Yeah, know. I'm going to have to do something about this because this is not perfect. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to see what... Whoa! Maybe there's a setting, a live setting that will fix it. No. Wow, look at all this stuff. Okay, so here's Jeez. the road size. So I could, I, could, I could make it line up that way by, by changing my road size, and that's cool. Um, but look at all the stuff I have. So I have an option of turning my bike lane on and off change the width of the bike lane um oh turn the divider off yeah this is how we like it in colorado if you're if you're on a bike you're taking your your safety into your own hands you don't you don't get a physical divider from the traffic um road verge oh all right we said that's like the little shoulder thing Foot path that's on there that's that's cool so you can turn all that stuff off oh i have a furnishing zone so if i have like some chairs or something i need to put in the road i can just oh i was being sarcastic but look at that <laughs> it really is seating <laughs> 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 they knew what you wanted oh, before you cool. knew you wanted it 
Oh, so what do I got here for? Here's my options. I kind of like that. I like the little got 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 a nice uh, feel there, and a transitional zone. Whoa! So it gives me some benches on the outside. Seems a little safer, but um. Well, ideally, you don't, should only be at risk from the bike people if you're close true. to the road. Cause, very, very true. Uh, which is not to say that that wouldn't hurt. I don't want to get hit by a bike. That's true. Also true. Also very true. Okay, cool. So I that's that's fun. I will have to change, because I put this zone in, I made my space a little bigger. So I'll have to bump the uh, the size of my sidewalks here to line up. But that's doable. Um, extended treatment. Buildings. Ah, oh, so I get like like a placeholder storefront for my buildings. Or grass. Mm, nice little park. Dang. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it as an empty lot, I think, and then see what <laughs> Ooh. I'm in a desert. Waterfront. I live in Colorado in the desert, so like anytime water shows up, I get kind of excited. Um I'm gonna make this one an empty lot for right now. Um Okay, then we have a central divider in the middle. That I kind of like that. That's oof, look at all this stuff. I got to scroll. I got so much. Okay. So we're we're getting a, a popular audience request for you to uh, save. I don't know if you've done that. If you're if you're going to do that today or not, but Actually, a recommendation or because because I imported everything and and brought them in here as components ahead of time. I did already save this one, so I can go. Just do a quick save over the top, but that's an excellent I what hey, don't argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> Make a liar out of me. So uh, much more convenient. Look at all that time saved. <laughs> Shut up, computer. Okay. Um all right, so by by bumping by bumping my median and making my median bigger, it did push my edges out. So I will have to do some resizing on my uh my intersection component. But that's cool. Yeah, I so like maybe that. it's the workflow is make the road as you want it first and then yeah. move on to the intersections afterwards. I started at the middle, but I probably should have started at the edge like this. Um because so what so here's what I'm kind of envisioning, right? Is like kind of a downtown section. So we'll have this piece right here will will carry through, and then maybe this intersection right here will be a side street. So it'll be narrower, it'll be smaller, it won't have all the, the stuff on either side, but maybe even like residential coming off this as opposed to commercial coming off this main street. So I think something like that would be kind of cool. Um, I'm going to keep going here. Uh, road width. That was all the same. My bike lane, I turned off my bike divider. And then I did turn on my furnishing zone, which I totally knew what it was all the way from the beginning. And then I extended with an empty lot. All right, so now that's symmetric. Okay, so now I wanna to try to come in here and take this guy, bring that configure live component window back up. And I think all I should have to do is carry this out or is make the main road wider to get this to line up. So I think if I just say main road, Bring that out and then go to my footpath and widen that out like that. Now everything lines up. Um, Are you sure it's lined up correctly? The other side of the road. Yeah, there's oh, come on, man. Off a little bit. Uh, you know what? I think, I think what's throwing me off right here is this is not actually like centered from the center. centered with the origin. So I keep looking at that origin line thinking I'm close, but oh, yeah. I'm not. Okay, so let's put this back. And the configuring stuff is you can do that in the 3D warehouse page too, right? Before you download it. Is that true or? Absolutely. Yeah. So that is, that is an option. I could do that uh, while I was over in the 3D warehouse. Obviously, like I said, because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me download things. That's not fun. Um, so I decided to just kind of download them and you'd sit and watch me configure them on my computer instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. Um, I think... 
I think something, yeah, something's off. So one of my lanes, one, something's bigger than something else over here. So let me just clean up this road real quick. We'll get this all lined up and then we'll copy that on the other side and then everything will be good for our main road through. And then uh, we may have to go change some things on the other side or it's for the small road. All right, so the median is symmetrical, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but is I it coming from the middle? Think... Like, I so, feel like when you turned it off, yeah, one see, side moved and the other side didn't. This is lined up right now with the center, okay. but I'm a little bit off. So I think, so like that's the middle, that that's lined up. So I can see how far I am up on both sides. So something on the right side is smaller. It might be the main lane. Um, well, it wouldn't be fun if we didn't get to see you trial and error through this. So that's oh, why check I'm out. You personally had parking too. happy to be here. Always good to have parking. I'm going to this. I'm just going to turn on. Every, I like every single option I could get. How did I miss parking? <laughs> check them all. Parking right, right, parking left. Give me the whole schmear. One of each. Uh... Yeah, I feel like that's probably the best way to work with live components is go through and check every box to begin with. That way that's you know perfect. what you've got and then remove the things yeah. you don't want. That's right. Pare it down afterwards. Okay, now i got to figure out why, why my lanes aren't matching. So focus, focus. Come yeah. on, man. Yeah, Keggy, Keggy observed this, and it looks like that to me is one of those lanes looks narrower. Your left lane it looks does. narrower than your right lane. But so Or look. the right lane to me. Yeah, that one looks narrower. It is. All right, so now we know. Uh, so this is 5,600 on the left. If we come down right, ah, there we go. Mm, it's the source of our issues here. Well, it takes a village. That's it a takes source, a village to help Aaron model. That's the source of one <laughs> of our issues. I'm not gonna say we got it square yet. Okay, so <laughs> that looks like it's lining up. So I can come in here to this guy now. Bring this up. It is also worth pointing out that, like, compared to <laughs> going in and editing an actual component and moving all the stuff around and getting in the right spot, like, We're still... this is a lot faster than that. True. This is very true. <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't go wide oh, no. enough. Super wide road. Oh, man. Okay. Put that on the list. Um, Dang. Uh, Giovanna on YouTube asked uh, if this is a plugin. This is actually a live component pack um, from SketchUp Lab. So it's on 3D Warehouse. Um, and yeah, these are all made with different uh, configurable sliders and stuff that you can change around. But yeah, it's uh, from SketchUp Labs. I don't, I don't know if Aaron mentioned it. It's worth, worth saying that these live components, he's able to tweak them in the product because he's using SketchUp 2021. But if you're using a different version, free version or anything like that, you can actually make all these changes in the 3D warehouse and then download the completed version. Good point. It's not not nearly as exciting as what's happening right now on screen, though. Here we go. Yeah, SketchUp Live, live components. You see them changing in model, you know, live. Wow. It's the best right. experience. It's the I gotta stop poking stuff for. because stuff is happening and I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing anymore. Um all you right. get carried away. It's kind of fun to move sliders around. And fifty six hundred. Do I have a bike path width? I think that might be where my bike lane sixteen hundred. Bike lane fifteen hundred. There we go. There's my difference. Helps if you make sound effects. All right. Now, enough, enough of this. Let's get this thing lined up and uh, move on to the next street. All right. Cool. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to use rotate. And I'm just going to rotate a copy right around the other side. There we go. It's all coming together. I'm going to grab this one. <clears throat> Make one copy over here, and I want these two to be the same, but I want this one to 
be unique. So oh, now because that makes sense. These are live components. So if you make changes to one, the other one would get changed too. That's right. That's how that's how they roll. So now if I come over here and I want to turn uh, turn the median off, we'll turn the bike lanes off. Um, so if I do that, so if I say bike lane turn off, it doesn't turn off on these two because these two are now separate. These two are still connected though. So if I edited one of these, it would show up in the other. Uh, no bike lane over here. And let's just keep, keep looking at these and thinking of those like the wooden children's train sets. Hmm. Well, like puzzle piece Brio? ends. Yeah, they snap together. Right. They should have snaps. Ugh. So I was saying you got to make your own sound effect. Perfect. I like how all of our sound effects are basically uh, care of Matt's mouth today. <laughs> all right. We... <laughs> <laughs> any try any inference? I'll try to try make a in. noise for it. Nice. What is a, a linear inference is more of a popping sound. Mm -hmm. We have to write down, write all these down. We do have the option of changing these uh, lines too, which is kind of cool. Single solid, double solid, single dashed. Ooh, do we want passing or no passing? Mm, that's cool. And we could, ah, there it is. Toggle from yellow to white. Double yellow. That's right. No passing, no double pass. yellow. All right. Um, in, Amer in America. So I want to keep, just to keep this, this, uh, this thing going through, I want to match that up. So I want to keep this turned on. Um, I'm also keeping my bench down, benches go down here. But uh, yeah, so that means I'm going to shrink down this one. So I'll bring this back up. And make that more narrow, which is okay. the secondary road width. It does all work around center, so that makes it real easy to. So we're not going to do bike lanes for this this direction because bike riders don't go up that road. That That's road's right. like, psh, you don't want to go up there. Don't go there. Just just don't go there. You get to mount the sidewalk if you're going to go east west. Bike paths are north south only. Oh no. I did a thing. <laughs> just when you thought you had it all straight. This <laughs> this uh, sidewalk's just, what, 100? Yeah, just, just slightly smaller. Oh, come on, man. Sorry, I guess it's my first time doing this. All right, let's fix that. <laughs> what is this, amateur hour? Hours? Okay, Tyson, take over. Wah, wah. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at the right side. So here's central, here's right side, parking, bike lane, burge, footpath. Uh, so close. No. Oh, it, you had it. Nice. Just yeah, just grab like, grab the edge and then. Oh, you can't. There you There's no inferencing in live components. That's right. It, it is right now. So we should point out this is from SketchUp Labs. So this is kind of a work in progress. This is uh, an experiment in how SketchUp could be used to create basically smart components, where you can actually go in and like put some data in and, and let it figure out what you what you're, what you're trying to do. Um, now dare, I know this... dare you say the the p word? Pepsi? Parametric? Ooh. Is that how you say it? I always said par parametric. Uh, I feel like such an idiot. Parametric. I mean, I've heard it both ways. Okay. Thanks for lying to make me feel better. All right. So now we have an intersection. Um, that's cool. So what we could actually do at this point, too, is if we wanted to multiply this, I could grab this right here. I could say option copy and boom and we have a multiple city blocks um this is practically a corridor at this point yeah i'm gonna save it command s how do you like that sorry i didn't mean to show off all right 
So, um, let's look at some more stuff. What else? What do we got in here? Um, oh, I did want to see. I saw an option here that I that I had missed. Sorry. One more thing. Because I think there's some different options for these green belt areas. Uh, because we had... So it's planted. Oh, planted or concrete is the only option there. I like planted. We'll leave it with planted. Maybe we'll download some face me trees and slap them in there or something like that. That'd be nice. Okay. Um, so we have some other pieces here. Um, some of them, these are simple. I like this one. If we, if we, uh, if we do a little residential space or an alley. Garbage and recycle mm -hmm. cans. I mean... Sometimes these are complex too? and have lots of options. Sometimes they're pretty straightforward. See, we have uh, trash, recycle, and compost. And they are all... So Ooh. can you click on those numeric values and like edit them, or do you have to slide everything? No, you can't come in here. So I can come in here and say I want these to be exactly 500 oh, millimeters. Oh, cool. I thought it was just actually slider. Set that in there. Can yeah. height, can width. Multi-use array, is that opposed to like just a single, oh, all the same. Nice. Cool. Number the of depth cans, there, the they, could, of they were going pretty deep. They were like, <laughs> how much trash you got? You know, they're, 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 they're kind of deep enough to fix this up. There are right, some weekends. Turn into a giant bin. Like One a, huge just dumpster. Yeah. It probably needs to be its own <laughs> component. Um, I can put a symbol on here too. That's cool. So yeah, I could say Ooh. recycle. Oh, nice. This is the stuff that I'm a sucker. What does organic look like? Organic. Mm, apples. And then oh, yeah. on the black one, we'll put the landfill logo. Oh. Right, so, it. so here in Longmont, the, uh, the compostable bin is actually a yellow lid. Can I make that a yellow lid? No, the, the trash is yellow, isn't it? Trash is like every, no. every two oh. week pickup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, yeah. so there is a different color, though. For I don't think it's... I could be wrong. I don't think it's green for the compostable. Yeah, it is. I got one up back. But you can't change the color. Because I care. Beautiful. Look at that. Nice. That is it's These little nice. touches that really add the it, it realism, is. you know? Just gives it a little something, something. That's right. You got to be following the municipal codes of whatever city you're in, you know? That's right. I'm going to go over here and turn my profiles off. Speed up my model a little bit. That's good. And we'll just keep that off in the distance. Perfect. Out of sight. Nobody of wants mind. to have trash right up front. That's right. So Jean noticed on, he went and looked at the actual component on the warehouse and it didn't look like there's a way to do one way streets. Did you, did you try that? That could Maybe be. You can't do that. Um, I, I think that's true. Cause I, if, if I look at this street, it does have a direction of traffic option. Um, at least in the U S isn't white lines on the road. Doesn't that mean it's one way? No, wh yeah, white line yellow means... lines. So if I Two turn ways? off left side of road options, it just closes the group. It does not turn it off. Yeah. So yeah, so this is a two this is a two way street. Um, but you got to remember the thing to remember about live components is they are at the end of the day just SketchUp geometry. So what you could do if you wanted to use something like this and then go to a use case that isn't provided right now with, with the options is you could always get it in there. And then once it's in here, I can detach definition, which says, just give me the geometry I have right now and throw out everything else and make it no longer be a live component. It'll just be a regular component. Um, well, so you could do that. That's what's going to happen. And that's what's going to happen when you, after you download your modified component, if you went to the 3D Warehouse website to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it gives you a good starting point. And you're at least like have a lot of similarities, you know, consistency with what you've already got. But if you want to, yeah, if you want to customize it further, you can. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Cool. All right. So there's some other stuff that I don't know what it is. So we're just going to bring it in and. All right. We got street lights. That's that John did like your uh, your your response though matt he, he agreed that setting it to white dash lines would uh would make it clear that it's a one way nice 
yeah, I don't remember, like, I don't have a lot of good recall, but driver's ed, for some reason, I have a fairly good recollection of. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. All right. So this is street lights. So I put it on the side street just to, to play with it. Um, I'm wondering about this red zone here. Uh, okay, so we have the stuff I would expect, lamp height, number of lamps, probably single, double, maybe go over both ways. Quad, we're really lighting up. And then, oh, that's, ooh, so I could throw that down the middle mm. of this thing. What's a quad then? I know quad means four, so don't get, don't get smart in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with your fancy words. Nothing appears to have changed. Do that, change it's, something else. It's working on it. Oh. Oh, oh no, it's it's already changed at the top. It's just got four little thingies coming off. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick on the side road. I'm gonna stick with the regular, the old single. And then we have some options, post material, um, width, length. Okay. Ooh, it's taking a second to redraw this one. So maybe don't use the quad ones because they're a little bit slow right now. <laughs> Unless you need the quads. They look like they're going to take off. Or something. There we go. All right. Yay. Um, so we have, I'm just looking at the stuff that's here that we don't, both sides of road, road boundary. What does that mean? Oh, that's that, that red. I'm assuming, so a lot of these, a lot of these have this, this transparent red thing. I don't know, again, not being an urban design type myself if that's like a symbolic thing that you need to have like representing something um but it's good to know i can turn it off so i don't have to see it if i don't don't need it there um road width that's important because i don't necessarily want these in the road so let's i'm gonna start Ooh, this is really bogging down here 12,000 millimeters. That makes a little more sense. Cool. I like it. Number of lamp posts. Could turn that on. Add, adjust it. Um, I wonder if I put an even amount if they'll be straight across from each other. So if I put six, will they still stagger? Yes, they will still stagger. So are you just grabbing kind of an arbitrary point on the edge of that component? Yeah, I just I just did a any kind of relative move there. So it takes it's taken a second to reconfigure, but it's not impacting the actual performance of my model. So you'd see as I'm as I'm spinning around here, it's still staying super smooth. If you get a model is too complex, uh, orbiting is one of the things that starts to get a little janky. But it's not actually doing. That. It's just taking a second to redraw is all. Um, oh, is this is uh, I keep asking these questions out loud like anybody's going to answer. Um, I can try to throw out an answer. <laughs> uh, let's see. Road bound. We turn that both sides of road array. So what is array? Oh, array is just a single light post. So that's cool. So if you want to just put one on. No, no, no. Array is not a single light post. Right. Array means there is an array of them. Unarray. Disarray. Disarray. There we go. So you, should I, have, you should have one that's disarray and it's literally just kind of randomly placed light posts all over the place. I like, it's like Good luck. You just hit a button and it's like, don't hit it when you drive down this street. <laughs> all right, let's see how let's get let's get uh, let's get ultra modern. Ooh, I like it. Look at that. That looks LED. like a really big whistle. This is <laughs> this is actually going to save energy for our city. So this is this is important. Classic. Ooh, is that going to give me like a? Ah, I don't like that. Close, closer, but. Yeah, I'm gonna go with regular street light. I like that the best of the three. And I'm gonna turn on my advanced options and see what we got there. Okay, so this Ooh. is some options for this basically. I can turn the flag on and off. I can change the flag color. Ooh, it's a little banner. Just Come to show the... what's happening in, in the town right now. Yeah, this Memorial weekend. Day um, parade coming through. Oh, and turning so... it on and off changes it from yellow to paler yellow. 
Okay. Cool. So yeah, so there's some some fun stuff there. Um, let's go ahead and um, I guess I kind of jumped the gun on copying this, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy. Oops. Copy from here down to here. Give that the old 180 spin. And yeah, Studio RT Cool on uh, YouTube said if you're looking for something that will just plop a bunch of stuff all over the place, that's called scatter. Yeah, that's which is an awesome extension. If if you do any kind of landscape, you're probably already using scatter. If you're not, you owe it to yourself. Check it out because scatter is the way to put plants on randomly or actually anytime you want to have anything sprinkled randomly, scatter does an awesome job of it. Um, all right, I'm going to take this one and I am going to, I'm sorry, Sumela, you're going to, you're too close to the origin and you shouldn't be standing in the street anyhow. That's dangerous. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and then I'm going to, I'm going to stick the, make this a double to put on the middle because I would think that's how this would work. <clears throat> we have several people just just now finally eating here. Oh, Hornock hello. Has, Hornock has been off eating uh, eating noodles, and Colin's been off making his M1 Mac work. Well, then it sounds like the perfect oh. time for Matt to do the public service announcement about our platform <laughs> change again. Oh, I thought we were going to try to get him to do the intro again. Mm. <laughs> okay, we'll head back start the music all over again. <laughs> cue music and cue intro. Uh, no, but cue PSA for sure. Um, so yeah, today is our last stream that we're doing multi-streaming to uh, the three platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Uh, so going forward, starting in June, so there, we're not going to have any live streams next week, but after that, um, all live streams will be solely on YouTube. Um, yeah, and we think it'll bring everybody together, um, get all the chat in one place and really, uh, you know, focus all the content in one place. Like there is all the other playlists of, um, you know, great learning content on YouTube. So, uh, the live streams just felt like the right place was, was YouTube and the majority of our, uh, viewers are already there. So thought it'd be an easy transition for people to check it out on YouTube, SketchUp Live, YouTube only starting in June, 2021. And we're going to start well, calling it SketchTube, right? Yes. Oh, Tube Sketch. Can't see um, why not. Live. You live. No, that's already a thing. You tube. Sketch. Live. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's getting better. Keep at it. Keep trying. <laughs> you, you'll get there. <laughs> Every day. Room for improvement. That's what I look for. Right. So. We have a crosswalk. Hmm. Yeah, that's one thing that I feel like I've done like, um, you know, kind of context models in the past and like real looking uh, striping and crosswalks and stuff like that is hard for me to <laughs> model by hand. So uh, this in particular was you something like that I thought was really cool for the live component pack. All right, so I'm going to line it up in the middle here. And we're going to play this a little bit. Obviously, we got some redundancies here. We got street lights. Um, well, Super bright. Talk about light pollution. <laughs> Jeez, you're part of the problem here, Aaron. Apparently so. Light it up. <laughs> um, there's some cool stuff. There's definitely some things I like about this. All right, so obviously, we're going to have to... Uh, Increase them because our, our road is wider here. Can you do it like Japan style and also have corner to corner? I knew mm. I do anything. We can do it you all. Can you mean like Shibuya shuffle kind of thing where exactly walking that's, everywhere? that's literally the only section intersection that I know of in Japan. So yeah, that's the one. But I assume they're all like that. <laughs> <laughs> Based on the extensive sampling and and, and uh, investigative work Jody's done. Okay, so this one actually doesn't work off the middle. It works off of one of the edges. That's good to know. All right, 
right, so let's get that. Um, all right, what am I doing wrong here? Why is that not? I don't know what my overall width is of my whole street because it's been playing with my individual pieces. I guess I could go check it. I could actually just like <laughs> like measure it. Like actually, yeah, measure it because I I'm literally have, working like, with a model right now that uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll change this to millimeters. Yeah, the, more, the more you play with this, the more feedback that I'm thinking is that we need to get the. Uh, Live component guys to bring imprinting into this a little more fluidly. I mean, that's the beauty of SketchUp, right? It is. Mm -hmm. 15,600. So. Yeah, like I said, this is, and it is, I've, I've actually got a chance to talk to the, those guys a couple times and they love feedback. They really like it when uh, anybody fills them in on what they'd like to see. So that's pretty cool. What's the, what's, uh, what's if, their email like address? Somebody who is using it, oh. how would they get that information to them? Uh, I would say the forum probably. Mm -hmm. Get on there and uh, let them know. I'm not as familiar with the forum as you guys. Is there like a SketchUp Labs uh, there, section? There sure is. There's... Hmm. There might even be a subsection for live components. Oh, wow. I'm going to make oh. sure before I say that. Wait, I already said that. Hmm. It's out there now. Take back. It has to happen. It basically. Now I'm just clicking stuff to find out what. Oh, pedestrian refuge is this little island you get on. So you don't you can hide from cars there. That's kind of, mm. uh, but they, I'm not putting a separator for the bike lane. Then pedestrians don't get protection either. So <laughs> we're all in this together. The side it's islands us versus the cars. Take those out. Just, just do a crisscross across the intersection in both directions. So it just looks like a gigantic tic-tac-toe board. I like it. Like the longest game, the most annoying game of tic-tac-toe ever. Uh, yeah. So there is a live components discussion and a live components content subcategory. You can go there and ask for features or report bugs. That's nice. So there you go. Let's turn off road markings. That literally, this straight up gives me just that piece. Um, I guess I maybe I'm a little confused because this seems to fit like straight up right in the middle is that is that what y'all would expect to see i don't know what i'm expecting from what you're orbiting around right now okay sorry not that yeah mm. so i feel that like that looks like it's set up like if it's in the middle of a block not in an intersection oh yeah i got what you're saying okay yeah so so if i but this is this is cool. This, uh, this is kind of so. If I turn my road markings off, I could take this piece and just slide it back, and make it narrower. Um, also, Keggy on YouTube pointed out that you didn't make the lights unique when you switch them to the side road, so the side road uh, lights are messed up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I think Ashley pointed that out as well a little earlier you didn't you need to make unique so you guys need to i didn't know what you meant at the time now i know type your comments louder for me um so if i grab these make them unique see how much i have to change <laughs> oh is it did i do anything other than just uh go single to double i don't i hope not let's see uh give that back single Work, baby, work. Chugga, 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 chugga. Awesome. 
There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. So you're right. I think, Jody, you kind of called this out correctly. So this crosswalk type, this is what I was expecting, right? Was was something like this, which is you have to turn off all the cool stuff, but you can get that. Mm -hmm. If I want to do something like, if I want to take advantage of the the awesomeness of this live component, I'm gonna have to bring it like down here somewhere. Yeah, that's like a path crossing yeah, or something. Yeah, we'll take it here. Yield to pedestrians. Look at this. I'm I'm designing a city here. Yeah, it's looking good so far. I think it looks very welcoming. Um, I'd like to spend some time there, sitting on the I, benches, perhaps, or I don't know, walking through the empty lots. I could, I could probably set you up with that. All right, but now I can turn on things like if I want to put on side islands. Uh, nah, still not getting any refuge from me, pal. Um, road markings. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Now I get mm. it. Yeah. All right, if I want to get that at the other end too, well, here, let's, I'm using these corners as copy points. Copy no, you didn't that. make that one unique again. When you... oh, son of a gun. <laughs> okay, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to undo a bunch of times. All right. I wasn't sure how that was going to work out. It worked out yeah, perfectly. I was surprised that it worked. <laughs> oh, come sure on. Surprised. Surprise hurts a little bit. Again. <laughs> um, yeah, that worked out just how I thought it was going to, is what I was, what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's see how wide this is. 11,200. Peggy's typing in all caps now. Thanks for your uh, encouraging that. Thank behavior. you. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to copy it from here to here. And I'm going to spin it and copy it from here to here. All right. We got crosswalks. You can you can just cross like crazy. And oh, except not nice. down here apparently. Right, I undoed one too many. With live components, it honestly feels like it's still SketchUp, but it feels like it's like a game, like Sim City or something like that. Like you're, you know. This is pretty easy. I will say that mm -hmm. if I was setting out to do this from scratch, um, well, obviously, I didn't know what I was going to do, so that it did help me kind of formulate my plan. But uh, mm -hmm. it would definitely be a little more work than 45 minutes so far. Mm -hmm. um, all right, let's take a look, see what else we got we want to throw in here. And then uh, I want to start bringing it all together soon. What else we got? I love okay. it. A driveway. A planter box, a bus stop, and a concrete retaining wall. All right, the bus stop seems to make the most sense to me right this second. All right, so I'm gonna flip this around. Wow, we just put we just put stoplights everywhere around around here. Do I have to stop yeah, for kinda... those? When I see them. I've been running. Running reds all day. Go ahead. <laughs> so were you oh, saying no, something, I was, Jody? I was just appreciating your uh, how clever you were. I was going to make some other comment that was going to be also clever, but now the moment's gone. So, yeah. thanks. You won this round of cleverness. Oh man! All right, I'll shut up for the next one. No, it's good. You won. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm fine with that. Coordinate, guys. Coordinate. Take turns. <laughs> <laughs> So one thing that I'm noticing is is if I want to get rid 
of this bike. I don't know how a bike lane and a bus stop would work out anyhow, but uh, this is this this speaks to that what I was saying before is, you know, this is going to get you that first initial geometry to work with, but you will probably have to go in and explode because I'm not going to want like the bench and the bike rack and all this stuff in here. So I probably have to come in and remove that. Um, I don't know what I would do with the, the this though. Um, yeah, but ooh, number of buses. It's gonna be like super long now. Whoa, so many buses. Ooh, we had the extendo bus, you know, one of those with like the accordion thing in the middle. I've never felt safe or, around those things. I mean, or you're just at a bus station. Hmm. <laughs> you were like just recently, just before now. No, no, that long thing is at a, as wait is at a bus oh, station. Oh, I got you. Jeez. Jeez. I thought you said we were just at a bus station. I was waiting for more about that story. <laughs> that's, that's a great <laughs> story, Jody. Anyway. <laughs> we had a really bad rat problem, so we spent the night in the bus station. It was free. Road marking extension. Uh, but yeah, I do agree that those bendy buses are they're sort of going against the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. Mechanical laws of nature. There is some stuff here. Them regional which i'm not sure let's see let's see the difference get get ready to learn guys because this is gonna this is gonna be learning okay so we'll start with i gotta get a good view on this thing all right north american bus stop so i feel like it's worth calling out that the fact that new zealand is one of the options just sort of emphasizes that the guys the team that's working on this is based out of New Zealand. <laughs> Do what you know, Jody. That's why I'm doing urban design right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not seeing the difference between each of those. Yeah, I didn't. I, I was not nearly as blown away as I was hoping. Um, so oh, I was probably just the spelling of the words "bus stop." Like, first of all, it's in American English. Oh, it's in yellow now. And then it's in, and then it's in, uh, UK English, and then it's in Australian English. Finally, New Zealand English. Okay. Nice. That makes sense. Yeah. Hmm. Just in case you were wondering, I suppose. Shelter? Seats. Now you're giving people shelter. You're right. This is, this really isn't fair. I mean, I'll protect them from the rain, but. You know, when it comes to cars and stuff, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Curb boundary. Ooh. Not sure why that scooted over, but it did. Okay. And my markings. Oh. Okay, that's cool. I kind of like that. I I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm not sure what the uh, the region does. I'm trying to watch for. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Wow, that's subtle. Hmm. And now you know because you were here on this live stream. You know the difference between uh, four different country bus stops. It's possible there are some people here who have just been to all those countries and seen it, so they know I guess firsthand. Huh. All right, then. All right, cool. I'm going to call that. Um, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, so what I want to do at some point is come in here and make this unique, detach this, and then and then make a change there. All right. Well, let's uh, let's 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 put some buildings on here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna grab all of this and put it onto a single tag as well. Bet you thought I was gonna say the L word. Didn't do it. Not today. Not today. All right. So I'm gonna make one called Street. I'm searching for it. I do that every time. Plus. 
and then call it street. And then I'll do another one called buildings. All right, and then I'll grab all this stuff. And this is all going to go to the street layer. That way I can toggle if I need to. Do you think that all street cars have names or just that one name desire? I'm not really even sure what a street car is, so. Do you think it answers to a name or is it purely just for fun? That's an excellent question. I honestly have no idea. I don't know. Good one for chat to chime in on here. <laughs> Help us out here, guys. I'm sure they've got some good ideas. <laughs> The answers would be the best. <laughs> All right. So when you were messing with the bike lanes, did you, because a couple of people call, have now called this out. That, is that an Ikea, by the way? You open it in an Ikea right there? Boom. Uh, the bike lane direction, is that, like, do you change the flow of that based on region or whatever? Um, so I think I made these to the right. I think I left this main one. Let's see. It does look like that. It is kind of like that entrance, the bus stop right there going into the block. It's got a thing there. Oh, that's a problem. We put a U.S. bike, or we put a U.S. bus stop sign on, so we should really flip that to the right. Here we go. And look, yeah, the, uh, the direction of bike lane did change when I did that. Smart, smart, smart. Nice. nice one. All right. As I said, it takes a village. I have seen people yeah. drive backwards on their bikes, though. It kind of, I think it's hard to do, but you can still have to I feel be flexible like, in your spine. I feel like those people were unique. Yeah, make unique. All right. I, I now I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm gonna just start putting. Now, now's that time. Now Guys. we've we've started. <laughs> 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 all right uh, i'm gonna do another another thing what i don't know what i'm doing put this on over to here get to about the same height i feel like that should be back a little ways um Maybe we'll do this. We'll make so two buildings. I don't I want to get this section filled in. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this little piece come. Whoa, sorry. Got a little, got a little hairy there. Grab that chunk right there, pull that all the way down here, which will give me this piece here that I can go just to kind of create a block. We can play with these and you know adjust how this all works together from these different different sections. Uh, let's see, go through this corner this time. And then I'll figure make each of these into a group. Actually, what I should do is grab all of this, make that into a component. And now I come in here, I can grab So out of curiosity, since we've been at this for an hour, are you just doing roads today? I don't know. I'm making this up as I go. How many of the nine live components you grabbed were road related? Um, so the only ones we haven't put on are planters and uh, concrete retaining walls. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, you said there were no feature walls. Ooh. Well, do, do you consider retaining to be a nice feature well the fact that you can adjust it means that it's got something feature like that is not untrue he's not wrong 
So are we, is it, are these American streets? Have we established that? Uh, they are on your, the driving direction is on the right. Okay. So but, all these big boxes, it makes sense then. Yeah. yeah so I'm just going to group these. All right. So as I come down here, oh, that's kind of, that's looking kind of cool. Um, yeah. That was the view of a uh, Snoopy balloon on Thanksgiving Day Parade. <laughs> um, Ramon on yeah. YouTube asked uh, what the controller you're using is, and I believe he's talking about your 3D Connection Space Mouse Enterprise. That's what Aaron's using in his left hand to uh, control the camera on SketchUp. It's not necessary to uh, to orbit around and stuff. just makes it a little smoother for presentation. Um, yeah. Oof. Drove off the road. Okay. Um, one more. Let's grab this guy right here. It's probably the smarter way to do it. the future when, uh, when Doc Brown makes a little. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> the car drives off the edge. Yeah. A little block, a little wooden block DeLorean that set on fire. <laughs> Is that just a thing you do, Matt? Is do you make, do, do you end up watching a whole lot of Christopher Lloyd movies? Yeah. Jody thinks I look like Christopher Lloyd. Oh. I sort of do too, but well, is it just because um, you were Doc Brown for Halloween your first year at SketchUp? No, you have you have to see a picture of Doc Brown whenever he was a twenty something. Mm. If you look at young Christopher Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you Google young Christopher Lloyd, and you don't uh, don't act like this is all me. I didn't know this until yours. Like, here's the picture of of Doc <laughs> Brown as a kid, and I'm like, holy crap, <laughs> they're the yeah. same people. I brought it up, but yeah, hey, Christopher Lloyd's great. Uh, taxi. <laughs> You know, that right. is a good one, Jim, or uh, one who flew over the yeah, cuckoo's Jim. nest. Yeah, yeah, he's great in that. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna break some stuff now. Yay! Okay. <laughs> so one of the things I was talking about is we we do so so live components get you a good start. The the whole goal of it is supposed to be like this. So I I got this all laid out with a whole lot of detail um, in a fairly short amount of time. So question now is like, so how do I, obviously my bike lanes run through here. I got this stuff right in front of my bike or my bus stop. Um, so this is where I would actually be able to come in and make changes. So if I was to right click, I can say detach definition. So the first thing that does is that makes it so when I come click on this now, see I don't have the same option here, oops. Hold on, undo, undo. Oh, no, redo that one. I missed a very important step. So it's a live component right now, so I'm gonna make unique first. Because like all components, if I say detach and get rid of the live component smarts, it's gonna do it for all copies, which I just did there in an effort to not show you how to do that. Um, so this hey. is still a live hey. component. <laughs> and this one, because it's Don't detached, do this, click. Uh, and say detach definition. Now, this is no longer a live component. See, so just a component. Um, this guy over here is still a live component. And there's still two of them. This one's the same live component. So that means I can come into this guy and I could say, I have no idea how you break a bike lane, but. Uh, like throw it like jumping jacks or. Uh grooves that are slightly wider than a tire those would both break it thank you very much that was helpful didn't like my answer did you nope well <laughs> that broke the whole street all right so now what i gotta do i come into this guy right here and, uh, maybe we got a jackhammer on our hands drop this straight down grab a line right here just drop that straight down and then I can just push pull oh that's me pull that through like that undo is a sketchup user's best friend that's oh, exactly right I feel like I'm so undoing <laughs> the entire time it, it cracks me up that undo is i mean it while it's such a vital feature like i've now seen several applications where like their first version when they made a thing like one of the hardest things to implement is the actual undo 
set up like the first version if like we we pulled out the very first version of sketchup a while back and yeah no undo at all just that like, seems this that's just mean yeah that's what <laughs> that's why you've got a race oh you don't i like see. that erase it and do it again i don't like that either i don't none of that works for me all right so what did you run the first version of sketchup on uh it would have been on windows because there was not a mac version yet this is but i mean like up. you said you recently did you have to not recently use... not recently this is probably either 10th anniversary or 15th and this year is the 21st yeah, yeah. so it's been a, a hot minute yeah i know people like playing you know old video games or like commodore 64 you know on the Your original emulator do people yeah. like try to get original hardware to use SketchUp V1 on? I, th I think you'd have to get, I think you would actually have to get original hardware. Well, for one, it's 32 bit. Mm -hmm. So otherwise they'd have to recompile it. Keep an eye on throwback. SketchUp Live will be modeling on <laughs> SketchUp One. No undo. It's going to be, where's my we're actually have to film it in advance on VHS and then just play that back. <laughs> where's my HDMI out? <laughs> all right um all right so i'm gonna come in here and get some it'll be awesome and it has like subtitle like the the silent picture screens between them saying oh no and then it just <laughs> flashes it up there train comes over runs over it. no it makes sense i guess <laughs> okay what are, we, what are we doing right here i'll just just paint the concrete concrete colored Okay. Um, where are some other things I wanted to clean up? Um, why, why, why are you in my way like that? Oh, George is wondering if you okay. have the ability to nudge an object instead of having to move it. You instead of having to use move. Um, yeah. He's a sketch. He's a newbie. So. But I did a thing. What I don't understand. Hold on. I gotta. What? What's going? What? Why is this here? Oh, okay. um, I can take a whack at the nudge thing um, and check me Sorry. if I'm wrong, but yes, uh, I'm good. I'm no, good. I'm better. <laughs> Basically, because SketchUp is like is based on accuracy and is very accurate. So, like a nudge, you know, would it what amount would it go based on how zoomed out you are or something? So, every move is an exact move from a point to a point. So, I mean, there is like length snapping at very small uh, increments that you can change to like a foot or something that you could, you know, you'd still use the move tool, but you could move one increment at a time if you wanted to do that. Um, but not really like using the arrow keys because of that precision. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, in passing, just to kind of pass, just to get away from that question. But Matt's right is the answer is actually no. Sort of. Right. Yes. So with the way here's, here's how you, here's how you get around that is you have. Uh, you use inferencing and you snap corners of components to coordinates of components. And that way you can get accuracy. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, there, yeah, there's nudging and layout. That is true. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and if you are a newbie layout is the 2d documentation uh, part of the SketchUp software uh, suite. So if you're looking to make documents or print out stuff, layout is the way to do it. And uh, yeah, because it's a 2D like paper space, uh, nudging makes a lot more sense in that context. So, yeah. So I'm wondering, like whenever someone hears 2D, uh, how many people immediately think of the facts of life TV series from the 80s? I'm not that old. Okay, I am not one of those. <laughs> Fine. Was there, a, yes. was there a character named Tootie on there or something? There's, her name was Tootie, T-O-O-T-I-E. Okay. And that's nice. what I hear. Sorry. <laughs> Speak up in the chat. Say your piece now if you help knew jo what Jody was talking help about. Do that. No, I remember that's Facts fine. of Life. I never watched it, though. I, 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 I know it was a show. I had, two, I had two older sisters, so I watched a lot of Grease, uh, the movie Grease. And I watched Facts of Life, and I watched all kinds of stuff. I'm very, uh, I've got a very diverse background. I see that. I see. Okay. I like this little planner. Put a little planner on the corner there. 
make it get the greenery going. Um, Can we move that that one street sign out of the middle of the road? It's kind of freaking me. That one. Hmm. Ooh, that's bad. That's a bad place. Yeah, I don't know that that's that's not what I wanted. It's not up to code. Oh, I thought you were okay. Um. Yeah, I think. When I did the undo redo because I didn't copy that right, I think I forgot to, I undid the step where I turned the signage off. Signage. Nice. All right. Uh, Steve D on YouTube is asking about, um, or said it would be great to have live components of wall systems and foundations. Um, and I mean, one thing that's good about uh, live components, I feel like, is because they're always updated. They're always working on new stuff. So uh, maybe somewhere down the road that is happening. Um, but also there are extensions like, um, you know, Profile Builder will do similar stuff to that. Or isn't like Valley Architects kind of instant one of those yeah. um, will do similar things to what live components do. Yeah. That's not to say that that's not going to show up one day. It's just. No. Not and also that. at some point this will be, these things will be. You'll be able to make these. Anybody will be able to make these. This isn't just going to be us constantly. Only we okay. being the only people that create live components. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Community, I feel like, always goes crazy with stuff and comes up with the the greats. Good stuff. So there you go. It's you guys. It's on to you next. Yeah, Medik too. Mm -hmm. oh. that's, that's good stuff. Okay, I think we're, I'm getting, I'm getting near the point where I'm like, kind of liking what I got laid out here. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, <laughs> but I feel like something's coming together. Yeah, it looks good, especially for an hour and a quarter of uh, work, you know? Yeah, so I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't really want to, I kind of want the one of the buildings to just be placeholders because I really want this to be the center point. But at the same time, it's it's without putting a facade or something up, uh, it looks too sterile. So I think rather than go in and start trying to finish off the fronts of buildings, I feel like what I'm going to do instead is maybe bring in more 3D warehouse. Maybe we'll plant some trees between the lights. And then uh, maybe throw some people on here, something like that. Actually, without we don't even have to do 3D warehouse because we can actually just kind of come in here and see. Um, let's see if I go to landscape, plants, DC. Oh, I definitely like low poly trees. And this is the this is the stuff that's just in SketchUp. So this is I don't have to go download this or anything like that. Um, I can just grab this tree right here. I uh, was not aware of this. I like rarely use the component browser. Probably shows how much of a noob I am at SketchUp, but um, yeah. I didn't know that this was just like in the that's, program. So. That's literally why I have a job. So don't don't apologize. That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're all learning here. All right. And then I'll grab those four. I'll whoop, whoop, grab those four again. And then those four I will make in. Oh, Get over this here. is fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point where. Uh, all right, there we go. Make that into component. And I'll just five. this a batch Wait. of trees. Okay. I'm making it a component because that way, if I want to make a change to this ever, uh, I can actually just do it once because it's going to repeat three times down the street. So again, I'll grab it right here. Option copy to. Oh, there and just type 2x that'll get me trees all the way down the street um here's a question about live components and i wonder if you guys know it uh if you edit the geometry does that still maintain the uh like live component attributes like somebody in the chat this is why i thought of it, uh indirect on youtube asks if you could like hide lines that were on the sidewalk so if you like you know whatever, smooth the line or something like that in one component. Could you still make changes using the component attributes? Um, 
I don't know, but let's find out. Let's uh, all right. Let's do you this. Know, I mean, I don't. I, you don't have to let me interrupt you if. Uh, no, if you're this is an excellent question. So let's come. Let's bring this over here, and let's make it unique. Learning, and <laughs> let's hop in down to the point. So if I say, oh. So here's the, yeah, that's the issue is as long as it's still a live component, I can't actually get in and change anything. So I have to gotcha. break, I have to break that connection to a live component before I could do that. Um, but it would still be a regular component. So as long as you know, you want everything from the live components, so then you could just. Right. Detach. And okay. Again, that comes back to, to that workflow where having get, getting what I need out of the live component first. And then at that point I could come back and I could could break these up and hide those faces. Or well, we could just do something like this. Let's see if this works. Nice. Yeah, so get to a good starting point and then edit stuff. Or just turn edges off and then there you go. Yeah. That's kind of cool. All right, so just to kind of well, let's let's keep let's keep populating. Our, our street here. So I got some some trees up there in the middle. So one of the things that uh, I hate about this kind of stuff is that these are all exactly the same. So I'm going to come in here, grab this one and rotate it like that many degrees. Grab this one. Oops. Rotate it that many degrees. And I'll grab um, this are one. we SketchUp devs? No, we are not developers. Those are the smart guys. They're uh, they're busy doing smart guy stuff. So now my trees don't look the same all the way down. They got got some differences there. Nice. Um, all right, Cut, let's get a couple more things in here. Again, just using the standard, just the stock uh, stuff here. Um, and back up to landscape. What else do I got in here? We'll go back into plants, low poly, trees, shrubs. Actually, I think I feel pretty good about it. I got these. I'm going to turn. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but one of the options I had in here for uh, my planter boxes that I threw in on the corners here, I had the ability to change from this super, I mean, low poly. This is low poly. These are just rectangles. <laughs> you can't. You can't get fewer polys than this. Um, but you can turn that off and turn on real flowers. I was going to do that afterwards because that is going to get intense. That's going to add a lot of geometry, even though it's a component. So the component means that I have it in here eight times, but it really only has to store it once. It does have to draw it to the screen. So adding a whole bunch of geometry is going to slow it down. But because it's a component, it means I can change this once, one time with one piece, and uh, it'll update all of them. So that'll be one of the last things I'll do is turn these from rectangles into flowers. Um, so before I get to that, let's let's chuck some people, maybe people in cars. What, what we'll do next? Um, nice. Um, I will catch up on chat real quick. Somebody's asking about ADA ramps. Um, yeah, like I feel like we've worked around here. The live components are definitely like a good starting point. Um, but once you get it in everything in place and all the sliders where you want them, then you can kind of edit the actual geometry and add. Um, Obviously, you wouldn't want to be walking over that little piece of uh, of grass there either. So, yeah, definitely stuff you can change and add in and uh, be 100% compliant with all that kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Tomas said you should put some vehicles in there to make it more realistic. Did you just mention that? I can't. Totally agree. Remember. Yes, I'm with you, Tomas. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name on YouTube, but uh, only been using SketchUp for a few sessions, so I like watching you work in real time. Nice, yeah. Well, that's uh, the goal is uh, to learn something new and figure out how to use it. Use SketchUp better, I guess. Um, Serge, can you talk about your PC specs? So you're on a MacBook Pro, is that right? Correct. It's a 2020. Um, MacBook Pro is what I'm using right now. It's stock, except I did max out. I always ask for the maximum possible, ah, sorry, getting caught up in my cables here. Maximum possible uh, RAM. 
So nice. Good call. Um, can you lock tags? Asked Mike. No. Nope. Just gotta Only be careful. One thing you can lock. Groups are lockable and nothing else. That's right. 16 inch MacBook. Mm -hmm. The big yes. guy. The 13 inch doesn't let you get a an actual 3D accelerated video card. So Ooh, excellent point. Yeah, if you go with the little guy, you're going to end up having to rely on the Intel cards. They're not going to be as awesome. Okay, so we have a few people in there. Um, that's boring. I got to call this out. Um, so one of the members of our crew, Mark Harrison, who's a, a, a product manager, he's one of the guys who responds if you ask questions on the forum about software. In fact, he's probably one of the most vocal members of our product development team. Um, but I got to call him out for something. He brags a lot about how often his 2D component is downloaded because it is hundreds of thousands of times. I can't remember how many times it was. I just noticed this because I don't come in here often enough. But if you do go to people and then you go to uh, people, people 2D. Nope, that was not the right one. I'm back up. Back up. Undo. Undo. Hold on. This is a good story. Back it up. Oh, right here. It's right here. So here I have my, my folders, right, of the different people I can download. I, I said these were part of SketchUp. They're actually, they do download the file when you click on it, but they're pre-prepared pre uh, folders of commonly used components. Did you, did you say pre-prepared? Pre-prepared. Thanks. Is Thanks that redundant? Me. Is that like saying ATM machine? <laughs> A little bit, I think, yeah. Uh, Pre-created? Pre- <laughs> Uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Cultivated? Cultivated. There you go. All right. So here I have a folder for 3D people. Here's 2D people. Here's dynamic people. And look what the fourth folder is. <laughs> 2D face me Mark. So nice. now I'm thinking that Mr. Mark got yeah, his self yeah, he's, put he's in. Sort of been, he's stacking the deck. Yeah. It's, it's not I like he's even in here in the 2D people where somebody might get him a lot because they like it. He's just here all by himself. Look at this. Just, <laughs> just smug. Must be lonely outside of a folder there, Mark. Just smug Mark getting downloaded like crazy. That's, I just <laughs> added to his number. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> oh, I'm still going to call him out on that at some point. Uh, yeah, just say you. It, it, he wouldn't get as many as he does if not for you using him in your live streams. That's right. It's all me. Uh, I had to go. I had to go on a live stream and model my own 2D component to get a couple downloads. And here he is, just right at the top of the folders. All right. You know, I'd put me in the root, and then um, just see how that works. All right. Uh, let's get a couple automobiles. Um, here's a car. How can we represent figures in SketchUp? If you're talking about like people, you can either download them from here or from 3D Warehouse or make your own too. It's just 2D, you know, SketchUp edges and faces. So um, yeah, you can just trace over a regular image if you want to. You actually have a couple of videos and live streams showing the process of uh, creating your own FaceMe components. So. I highly recommend doing it. It is a good way to learn SketchUp and learn the, the line drawing tools. You know what I am realizing right now is there is no traffic lights, no stop signs. Uh, <laughs> it's a free for all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I would not want to be this guy right here because it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Probably the pedestrian? I mean, at least he's not jaywalking right now. That's true. You he's, can't call him for jaywalking. He's going to get run over where he should. That's the important part. <laughs> Um, I think I have an option to get buses. We're going to put a bus where it goes. Nice. Do they have the accordion bus? Or do we have the accordion bus? I'm talking like it's... A live, good live component would be a bus that you could stretch into an accordion. That's true. Yeah, these are not dynamic components. Well, hold on. There is a second bus. It looks longer. <gasps> I'll put it down here, Matt, so you can uh, 
It'll have to come in later because we got a bus in the bus stop now. But it's there. It's there. It exists. That's fair. Dang. My day is made. Day made. If we were Accordion bus. So easy. Achieved. All the time. Okay. Yeah, that's looking kind of cool. I like it. I feel like I need to put a bike or two on here. We have all these bike racks. Do we have? I'm sure we have bikes, right? That, uh... I don't play with this enough. This is something that I feel like I jumped in and goofed around with with stock components when I first started using SketchUp, you know, a, a couple weeks ago. And I feel like I haven't just haven't gotten in here and like used it a whole lot since. But uh, I feel I don't know. I don't know the story behind the design of a lot of these, but I will say that they are they're not super heavy components, which is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. um, that's kind of cool. This is my preferred way to use SketchUp because I feel like I'm I'm not good at modeling from scratch like you are. So I'm definitely leaning heavily on 3D warehouse for a lot of building out my scenes and stuff. It's worth uh then offering this advice to you that periodically you go through and you purge unused so that your model does not become a big glut of uh unused geometry. That is an excellent point and it's very smart. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll even do it now. In case you're wondering what Jody's talking about, if you go to model info and statistics at any time in your model, it's going to tell you everything that's in the model, like everything. How many edges, Holy cow, faces. 20,000 20, <laughs> component instances. <laughs> I think that's because of these guys right here. Uh, yeah. Each leaf is a component. There are. So yeah, these are not necessarily ideal, but yeah, there's a lot of components in here. Um, so 33 live components and 61 standard components. So what I can do is, I wish I could make this, I really, it's not, it's not a practical request, but I wish I could make this bigger because I want to watch all these numbers as I hit purge unused. Mm. Um, we'll watch the bigger numbers, I guess. So purge so unused satisfying. is going to get rid of anything you pulled into the model that you haven't used yet. Oh, but if I do that, hold on. One of the things that will do is that will get rid of anything that's here, any components you brought in that you haven't actually used in the model. If it's not on the screen, if it's not part of your model, it gets dumped. So I do want to grab a couple of these so I don't lose them. Yeah, your feature wall. Get my, get my feature <laughs> retaining wall in. Uh, I'll just slap that right here for right now. And then what was the other one? Driveway. There's a driveway. I do, I do have these still. <laughs> They're back in the corner somewhere. Um, you should be able to sort that by like number of instances in your model or something. That'd be cool. Like you should, like um, I can, or? Uh, you can not. Oh, as in that would it, be I nice. I think it only sorts alphabetically. I presume it only sort, sorts out alphabetically. There it is. Um, LT on YouTube asks about uh, prefabbed assets in SketchUp, or is there a preferred package? Uh, the ones that Aaron's showing, uh, not the live components, but the ones in here are the ones that kind of ship with SketchUp, but... Um, anything that's made by the SketchUp team on 3D Warehouse will be like sort of optimized for file size so it doesn't bog down your model too hard. But really anything on 3D Warehouse you can use, just be aware of how big it is and how much it might slow down your model. Yeah, we've been doing lots with uh, uh, product manufacturers as well. So there's a lot of stuff out there where uh, individual product managers create stuff, create their, you know, their products in SketchUp. So you can actually download those. And the nice thing about those is they're, uh, accurate to the product. So like if you want to go download a GE dishwasher or something like that, the file you download is going to be made by the people who make the GE dishwasher. So it's, it's very accurate. So that's kind of a cool option to have. Um, those sometimes they can be uh, more demanding models. So like some of those are render ready, beautiful high end models. So it's just something like Matt mentioned. Yes, absolutely. Be conscious of what you put in your model. Um, in fact, I'll go as far as to say when I usually when I use 3D Warehouse, I will browse it through a browser instead of directly through SketchUp. It is nice to be able to do it in SketchUp, but if I don't know what I'm getting, I'll view it through window or th through a browser window, download it, open it, and check it out before I pull it into my model. Um, this is one of those things that I've learned. You know, don't touch the stove because it burns your hand, and now. <laughs> I have scars on both hands because I've had large models where I've pulled in even larger assets and just 
locked my lock SketchUp up because I downloaded something that had two million faces in it or something like that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and it'll bring in all tags too. So mm -hmm. if you have like your model well organized by tags, it'll bring in a bunch of whatever tags were in the original model too. So yeah, that's a good tip to kind of download stuff separately. Yeah, clean it up on its own and then afterwards bring it back through. So that's great. Mm -hmm. I just don't, I don't use components at all. I build everything from scratch. There you go. That's another option. That's the way to do it. That's, that takes, that takes, that's not just like a native tool purist. That's like a straight up, that Jody's an island. Stands right. Up. I also don't use components or groups. All just lines connected just to wrong. lines. Sometimes okay. they fill in faces. Jody's insane. I know what I want. I just went a little further. <laughs> Draw it all. That's right. My way or the highway or the driveway, I guess, in this case. Right here. Good all point. right. So once once I've, I wanted to pull those out because I didn't want them to go away. But once I hit purge unused, anything that's not on the screen in the model is going to get dumped out. So I, I don't know. What, I actually don't know what that's going to do to this model. Let's find out. Nothing. Literally didn't didn't change anything. So <laughs> that, that was that was anticlimactic. Oof. <laughs> that was a bummer. Um, so you, just because you model so smart, <laughs> you know exactly what's on screen. That's, you don't bring way, in any superfluous. Way to put a positive uh, spin models. on it. That was great. Nice. Uh, sure. Um, yeah. So actually, I got, I'm I'm wondering now, it's because we're using this, and I, I haven't. Um, can I bring buildings in? Do I have like architecture? <laughs> buildings and SketchUp? Psh, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that one go. That was valid. <laughs> I don't know what these look like, so let's bring one of these guys in here. Oh, ooh, bad place. You're worried about signs in the middle of the road. Yeah, apartments in the middle of the road is bad. Wait, also, that looks tiny compared to that road. <laughs> It does, but I but I don't know that the scale of this is. I mean, so like if we put a here, I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna put a standard size commercial door, well, nice nice big door. So I'm gonna say it's uh, you know, like so four foot by nine foot, nice big door. These are big buildings. These are very, very large buildings right here. So this might, this might actually give us a little bit of realism. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to make this unique because this is re repeating multiple times. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to drop this to the ground. That's not what I wanted. Drop this to this height. There we go. I'm going to have to go into my styles and bring my edges back on so I can actually work in this. Okay. So now I'm back to just an empty lot. So now I can grab a couple of baseball on that. It's already got like a, a line set up for the That's right. first and third base. Oh, good point. And, and you call I'll, yourself not I'll a sport the... guy. Yeah, call it the sand lot. Boom. To make a Whoa. movie about it. Oh boy. Well, I meant for that to happen. It just fits. It's like a Apple computer. It just works. Yeah, take that PC guys. Oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh Tari Koo on YouTube asked about um says their first time catching us on live stream and Lucky to have you. I'm waiting for someone like you for a long time. So uh, thank you for saying so. But uh, yeah, so normally we stream um, on every Friday. Uh, that schedule has, <laughs> has, you cut us at a weird time because <laughs> next week and last week we didn't stream, but usually on Fridays and then every other Wednesday is what we've been doing. So um, yeah, check us out. So noon uh, mountain time is uh, the schedule. And YouTube, yeah, you're in the right place as well. Yes, watch on YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna, I like this. So, is it is it worth saying, Matt, that starting in June, that's the only place? Again, I think we can say that several times. Yeah, okay. it's always good to plug because people come and go, um, as we all do in this world. Um, so whoa, we're, whoa, wow, I was getting heavy. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's just too much. Too much. I, I'm sorry. I've got to just take a moment. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Sorry about that. Um, didn't mean it to come off that way, but uh, all that and much more you'll see every Friday and every other Wednesday here on YouTube um, and solely YouTube. If you are watching on Twitch or Facebook uh, right now, this is your last time there. So enjoy it while you can. Um, but yeah, YouTube going forward, please. Where will and where will be? And maybe you'll be excited to see the difference in a YouTube versus Facebook experience. That's true. I will say the comments move a lot faster on YouTube. It's more fun, more interactive. And um, what else are you looking for from a live stream? There's more. Say? There are more red icons. That is Sorry, true as well. I, I, that shut everybody up. I guess that's uh, <laughs> nice I guess that's icons. a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, there won't be more red icons whenever we get there. It's just when right now, whenever I look at the chat that has everybody's, it's literally all I see are the red Facebook icons, like 40 of them in a row. That's true. That's all the comments. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this could have been different if all you face people, Facebook people had just talked more. And mm -hmm. there are wow. more of you. Verbalize. Um, and yes, all the live sessions are just on YouTube afterwards. So yeah, it normally takes a few minutes to process. But uh, after the stream's done, you can definitely check them all out. And I think we put them all into a playlist too. Is that right? We have like yeah. a SketchUp Live playlist that we put them into. So you can watch all previous versions right here. <gasps> Strip mall. On YouTube.com slash SketchUp Official. I think that's right anyways yeah or is it just sketchup no it's well i don't know i think it's actually no sketchup video i don't know <laughs> i'm channel? dropping the ball here that's the worst call out ever oh, it all fell piece. apart it started so good <laughs> yeah just try going to sketchup channel video dot com dot YouTube. net dot dot com. Use, use dot video dot tv we're everywhere Right, Every so this, is, uh, this is turning out a little bit more realistic at this point. Uh, these are kind of kind of cool little buildings put in here. Uh, I don't care for you, fellas. See ya. All right. Later. See, I don't even know how to get to the like the official like whenever I just go to click on the SketchUp link on YouTube, it just gives me the slash channel slash a bajillion weird <laughs> letters and numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what our proper vanity URL would be. I do. I just so, search for it every time. I mean, well, so whenever I open it up on my work account, the thing associated with my work email, mm -hmm. I'm only subscribed to like four things, and so SketchUp is always the most recent activity. Anyway, it's it's embarrassing. I just think. SketchUp video user is SketchUp video. I just tried YouTube.com/slash SketchUp and it worked. So. There you go. Do that if you're trying to type in a URL. Okay. Look at us. Look at us just figuring stuff out right here. I'm glad you guys are here. It's a fun sandbox of learning, <laughs> um, all kinds. <laughs> so, so Lawrence, uh, which I don't think I've seen him commenting yet, so he must have just got here, is laughing at the notion of these intersections. Said in the UK roads never join at right angles. That sounds, so that's, now, that sounds like the East Coast out here. As soon as you get to uh, like Boston, I think the longest straight road is 30 feet. So what we need is basically a, uh, a, a nether version of these the intersections that are properly off axis. Yeah, I believe that's called noodlefication when you do that to the roads where they, yeah, good stuff. Maybe. All right. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm digging this. This is kind of makes it a little more realistic. Like just that little bit of, a little bit more detail. Um, I am feeling the, the slog. So like I mentioned before, once you get a certain amount of, uh, geometry in here, you're going to start to feel this, uh, this slow slowing down and I'm definitely starting to feel it now. It, it's definitely grabbing a little bit it's not terrible i can still move around pretty good but it's definitely not as snappy as it was before so 
And how would you uh, suggest if somebody's having the same problem, what would you uh, suggest as a... Well, honestly, what I should probably do is grab these. These are what's these are what is doing it. I mean, I have no question. These trees, um, I'll put them on their own tag. Oh, here's what Matt was talking about. Uh, hold on. B handle. I've heard of bespoke, but bespoke. Bees don't. We're talking. That's 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 probably one of the bikes. Bike tire, bike that. spoke, bike handle, bike. Holy cow! I was just being silly. Oh and yeah, I was actually right. <laughs> um, yeah. So look how much. Look at this. This is that's just that one piece. So I didn't get rid of it. This is actually an excellent thing to talk about. I did not get rid of it. I didn't throw those trees away. I just put them on their own layer. So once I'm ready to look at what this model looks like as a whole, I can come turn my trees back on. They look awesome. I'm sorry, you put it on a what? Its own type. Dang it. Busted. My wallet's in the other room. Jeez. I'll put a dollar in the L jar later. Um, yeah, but this, yeah. that's a. Uh, it's, it is that's fun to orbit around and see the nice trees and everything, but uh, yeah, eventually all those little leaves definitely don't, you don't need to see every single one of them yeah. all the time. So I do, um, but at least talking about that, I would like to see an option for seasonal decorations so that then whenever the trees can all of a sudden have you know, Christmas lights on them or uh, Easter eggs dangling. Or I don't know what other holidays we dress up for. Yeah. Toilet paper for the uh, Halloween. That's right. Or if it's in, a, in like a, like during the homecoming season and for high schools and colleges in the U.S. I don't know if people are jerks in other countries. <laughs> I, I don't want to, I don't want to say that the U.S. has an, a monopoly on jerksness. <laughs> I, I think... <laughs> There's somebody else somewhere who's a jerk. I'm pretty sure. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some of these built some of these different buildings and just start slapping them in here and uh, just to kind of fill out the block a little bit. Um, I will try to use reuse geometry wherever possible. So in this case, I got this post office, which I realize there's probably not a lot of post office, but um, if I can use this same geometry, multiple spots that I can't see it, then that works okay. So if I'm down here like this and I look, as I come down this street, I might catch a glimpse of this post office over here, but I'm not gonna see that post office anywhere else uh, except in that view. So I can reuse geometry by using it smart. And again, if it's a single component, it's not gonna bog down my, my computer. Um, same thing here, what's this again? This is a... I don't, I don't know what this is. Another building is what it is. There we go. We'll put it there. And then we'll take a copy. Drop it right here. All right, I'm, only, I'm just going to do a couple more. I want to kind of make it so I can have at least one good view down the street where it looks like it's a real street because it's filled in. But I don't want to go to the, uh, you know, putting chips on a video card land again. We've been there once, we don't need to do that again. Fans of SketchUp Live will catch the reference. It hurt, it hurt. What's this? This looks like fun. This is a fun little building. Oh, it's too little, it doesn't take enough space up. <laughs> I'd like to go bigger. I'd like a, a, I'd like a park somewhere in this uh this city center cool well tell you what i will put this up on 3d warehouse as soon as i'm done and you can just just park it up to your heart's content wait no i mean i, I was trying to give you ideas oh. for things to do you look like you're just making stuff up oh i am no, i'm just trying to fill it out <laughs> all right well we could put this on the other side of the road okay yeah, see, it's looking like, if I look at it like that, it's it's, it's filling out. All right, yeah, um, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to say, select all instances of this, because I want to put this on its own layer too. So this is a shortcut you can use on Mac only. Uh, I can come to my tag right here, and I can say flowers, and it will create that tag for me, which is kind of nice. Um, because I do want to turn the flowers on, see how they work. If 
but I don't want to bog down everything necessarily. Yeah, and I do think, I think you're right. I think all of these came out of that one bike. Um, all right, so we're going to say turn off low, low, low poly. Nice. So that's so LT has a has well he has a question, but the answer is the short answer is no, but it's a decent idea. The idea of doing uh critique sessions. Have you ever considered doing that? Where I just sit here and you guys tell me all things I do wrong. I kind of feel like we already do that. Yeah, yeah. No, this would be your chance to do that to someone else. Ooh, I'm in. I'm sweet, down. Sweet revenge. I I yeah, exactly. <laughs> um We've talked about that in the past, but we didn't want to seem too like mean spirited if somebody, you know, roast my think, model or something like that. Um, I don't think Aaron is ever mean spirited. So, yeah, leaves that to the other folks. Um, yeah, yeah no, I called him out specifically. <laughs> uh, that is a good idea, though. It's a cool. Um, it could be fun. Yeah. Watch this space. Keep an eye on the YouTube channel. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I think we could uh, we could do something through the forum. Have people post or send in their files, and we could all just take a look at them together. That's cool. All right. Um, I think I'm getting there. I think I'm I'm getting near the end. So I kind of feel like that's. Turned out kind of well. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my edges off again because I really like the way that looked uh, with this level of of detail. Yeah, I think that's turned out that turned out okay. Yeah, and again, this is basically everything stock, really, right? You didn't yeah, make I didn't... too many edits, to any or did you make any edits, to any components? I drew I drew my basically my slabs here. The the ground here is because the different pieces were fitting together weird. I, I kind of put something on top of there to fill it in, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Everything else is either part of a live component or, a, or a, a, a standard component. So I kind of feel good about how, how that came together. Cool, I mean, considering like, a lot of times I don't know how stuff's gonna end up, but in this, I really had no clue <laughs> what was gonna happen here. But I think that turned Honestly, out- Honestly, an hour. An hour ago, I had no idea what was going on. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take bring it together in an hour. That's not that's not bad. I'll take that all day. Cool. Well, yeah, I, 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 you know, you get to that point where you're like, okay, if I do anything more, I'm just just potentially going to hurt myself. I kind of feel like I'm there, where like we could add more, but I don't know that it's going to add anything to this. Um, just get out while you're ahead. That's right, and that's the other piece. Quit while you're not uh, while you're not losing anything too bad. Um, you can turn shadows on. Yes, you could. Well, I should probably say Once you get this is gonna be a demanding set of shadows. I'm trying to think. There's anything else? I like it. I like it. Let's clean up the screen. Turn shadows on. Boom. Ooh, nice. Let's. Kind of want the shadows coming the other way though. That's not going to happen because I'm not going to be able to change where the sun is by moving a little slider. We never there figured we out a solution for managing intersections, did we? Honor system. <laughs> <laughs> Care for your nice. own self-preservation. Take turns. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> Ideal city. All right. Oh, so that is a good, so D-Cube asked, asked a good question, which there might not be much we can do at this point on this one, but suppose you're doing downtown San Francisco. San Francisco. That's not very flat. No, it's not. I wonder how well this would work. Um, not super great. I don't know that it would. I think that the intention of this set of tools was for creating something like this, like a flat, flat scene. Um, if you did have to go over a whole lot of, of geometry like that, I think you'd be better off, you know, doing your 2D drawing, doing something like uh, drape or project to put that down onto the, those shapes. 
it's definitely more of a challenge to be working on uh, a whole lot of geometry like that. Well, I, don't, this. I don't think new cities are made lumpy like that anymore. We only make flat cities now. <laughs> That's right. Keep it easy. Uh, technology has changed enough that we just flatten out a portion of the earth. And <laughs> it's put there. It's going to squish it all. <laughs> yeah, that's how it works. Um, I like it. I like. I like where this turned out. I like, uh, or how this turned out. Where this ended up. Get a couple, couple of good shots here. We do. There's definitely a. Uh, we got like a stucco uh, building thing going on. I feel like we're. Was that Florida? Is that that's somewhere southern? Yeah, I was gonna say that's like a retirement community. It does. <laughs> <laughs> They're just all sitting in there watching Facts of Life, their retirement life. <laughs> Callbacks, love it. <laughs> way to way to cool. bring it bring it full circle. That's right. We're all right in two D. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna call it you guys. I think I don't I at this point, yeah. It's just it just gets more abusive if we keep going on from here um i don't i don't think i saw what you did with the the road the the partition the feature wall nor the i didn't i didn't do anything you know that's okay so oh, okay. maybe we'll turn off this we will turn off our trees and our flowers all right now we got a snappy model again oh we turn our edges back on that's probably good maybe this road down here is closed so let's let's there you close go. it mm. it's like in um what the heck was that movie uh what with the roads jim carrey no, the Jim Carrey movie where you couldn't actually leave. Truman Show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Truman Show. <laughs> Once you're in, you're there. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got in here. Here it is. All right, so let's see what our, let's, we'll, we'll check out our options again like we did before. Height of the thing. Barrier, I'm assuming is that red thing. Yeah. Get rid of that real yeah yeah that that red thing at the top really makes it look a little more like military sci-fi and... <laughs> it's yeah. kind of cool you can i can rotate that wing around just be straight oh this one i can't change that's interesting hmm. can you change it to radians instead of degrees um that that would be my next recommendation to the uh, SketchUp Labs team. Some of us think in radians, okay? Well, who, who, I think everybody who's does. Us? We just don't like to talk about it. Who's us that you're uh, <laughs> hanging out with there? Oh, so you can't edit it. You just double click. Is that how you got it? Something was something was uh, stopped up there. I was I was okay. uh, my live component was constipated. I I couldn't I couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. Um, is the okay so we can go straight up right oh. and come back to nine degrees cool length of the two sections height yeah this, this this one's pretty basic so i like this the way it is so we're going to go ahead and just turn it so it actually stops traffic be just slightly off there go for one one here actually yeah, i do want to kind of shorten it actually after after that let's come in here Close to through traffic. All right. So. Option copy that over here. Give that a little rotate. Make it make it realistic. They're never perfectly straight, you know. Anytime mm -hmm. you see these, they're always a little bit. I guess that's because they're what thousands of pounds. And there we go. So we have closed that road. Don't go in, which is probably good because if you were to drive a car to the end of this, you would just fall off the end of the earth. So not necessarily Flat Earth Thursday thing. night. Yeah. Cool. All right, let me get back to my my pretty shot. There we go. Let's turn everything back on. Yes and yes. Shadows. I feel like my my lighting's a little intense here, so I might have to mm -hmm. modify this just a touch. Let's bring our Bring our light down. That looks a little better. If it is Florida, the sun would be pretty intense. Though. I mean, it does go with the you're... stucco. 
Mm-hmm. There we go. I like that better. And uh, Christopher pointed out that uh, the Truman Show was filmed in Florida too. So this even further proof that this is just basically the town that he lived in. Oh wow! Who knew? Yeah. Now I know. Um, something else we can do here. This is kind of a nice way to to uh, keep from losing our immersion in the city. Is I can go to my style, and I can go to background, and I can. Uh, actually, I guess it lined up pretty well. Never mind, that worked out perfect. Um, nah, I'll go ahead and I'll turn the sky off, and then just set the background to a nice skyish color. Ooh, ooh, ah. Ooh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Yeah, that's that's a signal of something bad happening. There we go. There's a little, <laughs> little better. Yeah, that looks more like New Jersey, right? No, sorry. I don't. I don't really know what the what the <laughs> sky environment is like in New Jersey. I just know we like to make fun of them. Yeah, I don't know. They they just get the bad rap, don't they? The all blue right. sky state. I think it's because all the uh, all the people who made entertainment were in New York, and they they had to have something to make fun of and they made fun of New Jersey. We all picked it up by watching TV in the 80s and 90s. That makes sense. All right. I'm going to drop my edges and I'm going to call this done. All right. See you guys. Cool. All right. So a couple couple last announce. Well, you know what? Actually, no, I can't slide over that far. I was going to try to go stand on the sidewalk, but I'll just be here in the street <laughs> where it's totally unsafe. Um, you should put Mark in the street since he's been, yeah. Uh, Come here, Mark. Loading the deck. You stand in the street, pal. No, no, these leaves me right in the middle of the thumbnail. I can't do that. <laughs> put him, get back over there. On the side get right of the road. into his hand. All right. Cool. Well, that's what we're calling, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Um, one last reminder: starting. Two weeks from today, so we won't actually have a live stream next week. Our, our, our office is closed next Friday, so we won't be streaming next Friday. Uh, we will be streaming the week after, possibly Wednesday and Thursday. Keep an eye on the calendar. Calendar courses at forums.sketchup.com. Um, and we'll be coming to you from YouTube and only YouTube starting in two weeks. So, uh, again, apologize if you're following on Facebook or you are our Twitch follower then know that uh, next time you have to join us on YouTube. We'll make posts on, on social media, so that sort of thing too, to remind you. But hopefully you do come back and hang out with us again and hang out with us on our exclusive platform. But uh, yeah, I think that's about all I got to say. Uh, you guys, any, any additional notes? Matt, Jody? Just thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Well, rolling ours. Yeah, How are you going to top said. that? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, stay safe. Stay staying. Have fun out there. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. See you guys. See ya.